Hello, this is channel Lares, and today I will show you how to make this 3D text effect in Adobe After Effects. So you will learn how to make this. This is not a real 3D, but this looks 3D, and you will learn how to make it. You will learn how to place camera and light. And okay. Let's start our tutorial. Let's make new project. I mean, new composition. <laughs> let's make our composition five seconds. Okay, let's make three seconds. Our animation be one second long, so let's make this three seconds. Okay, I'm using Adobe After Effects CS6. Okay, now first let's make our background. Let's call this BG. Now go to Effects and Presets and search for Gradient. And let's add our four color gradient. Let's make this almost white. All four colors. Let's make all four of them almost white. Select, make first color that you want and select eyedropper tool and copy. Now let's make our corners a little bit darker. like this and okay that will be good now let's create our text 3d text okay you have to remove caps lock to reveal your text okay you can move anchor point to the center by going to pan behind this, select this tool and select your anchor point and hold control and this snaps to the place you want. Let's make this on the center. Okay. The color will be gray like this. The font I am using is Fra Franklin Gothic Heavy. Okay. So we have our text. Let's go to layers and pre-compose. 3D text comp. Name is good. Okay, now mm, let's make these two layers. 3D and select your text precomposed layer and hit Ctrl D about 30 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Okay. Now we have about thirty layers. Select all these layers and hit P on keyboard. And let's. The first layer will be zero in the Z position and all our layer should increase by one so let's make this one two oh, what is happening here all layers is selected okay second layer will be one third two and each layer beneath should be increased by one in the z position Sixteen. 
16, 17. Maybe thirty layers is too much if you have slower computer. So you can, for example, make fifteen layers and increase with not by one, but for example by two. We should work also. You may see gaps between layers more if you have this number in increased by more, but it may be not visible when the video is completed. Okay. Also, let's change color of our top layer. Select it. Go to effects and presets and search for fill. Drop, drop your fill. Let's make this white. Okay, let's create a camera. This will be two node camera. Fifty millimeters. Okay. Select your unified camera tool and you can rotate it. You can hold shift key so it rotates nicely. Also I forgot to place a background beneath of all layers so go to your layers, select background layer, select P and this, sh this should be at 30 beneath all layers in a Z position. So now we have this 3D, go to camera, reset, okay let's also what we can do here, let's make new null object and drag parent it to camera your your camera to a null object go to your null object now also make null object 3d layer and for example let's make this in y rotation 60 and in z rotation let's make this for example 30 okay Also, let's increase our background size, select PG, select S on keyboard and let's make this 200. Okay, let's now add our light, new light, this will be spotlight. Okay. Let's go to our light settings and light options, I mean, and let's increase intensi intensity to 130, 120, for example. Cone angle, let's increase our cone angle like this. And okay, focus distance. Okay, let's leave. All right, like that. Okay, let's now make our quick animation. So we'll go to a first frame and hit with stopwatch icon in the null object. Go to one second and 
let's change our z and y rotation to zero okay you can change this for example So this animation goes from this to this. We can select both these keyframes and hit F9 to make this easy ease. Okay, now let's make our a little shadow for our 3D text. Go to the last layer and again control D to duplicate it let's make this 30 and our BG let's make 31 okay now let's add fill effect to our la last layer let's make this black and search for blur fast blur add to our last layer and let's make this 50 and here we go we have a little shadow maybe a light is too intense you can okay 120 will be good And here we go, we have a 3D text in After Effects. So that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.